So I had wound uh, this, rewound this coil for this guy. And it runs all right, but I ended up going back to this coil because it just seems like I could get a better performance out of it with the supply I've got. So about sort of what I figured, once I start getting to about the 35, 40 volt region, the uh, drain voltage starts to reach over 150. So about 140, 140 volts on the drain already. Pulling almost five amps, about as per usual. Cut that down a little bit. Keep cutting the voltage up here. And uh, let's see, we're about, put about 40 volts. Yeah, so 40 volts, I've only got about 140 volts. 145 on the train. Camera keeps switching around. So about 165 watts or so pulls a uh, pretty good little flame off there. Starts getting pretty damn hot. And uh thing is, I've cut the gate voltage down a little bit. So I can actually cut that up and get a little bit more power. And actually keep cutting the voltage up. So now we're 43 volts now. And about 170 volts on the drain. Of course, that thing's starting to annihilate the uh, screw. So about pushing 5 amps still. So that's kind of a cool setup. Looks like I could actually push that maybe to like 50 volts. So assuming I was able to put the gate voltage where it should be at the voltage I was just running, I'd probably be pulling a couple more amps. Get a bigger flame. I'm going to try to manipulate that to get the voltage higher. So about 36 volts, 150 or so on the drain. If I can cut that down a little bit more. Try to get it to about 40 volts. So that's 40 volts. It's starting to get this sort of decent little long flame again and I go higher about 170 on the drain we're at 42 volts about 175 on the drain so we're getting pretty close with this uh 260. i'm also getting pretty close to the limit of the supply so here we go about 40 about 45 or so volts about 180 on the drain or so 200 watts and get a pretty decent little flame Got too much air blowing in this room but uh if i had everything sitting real still then probably get a nice little steady straight up flame there so again about 180 on the drain i could probably bring it to 50 volts seems like with this particular setup um, again, I have to sort of monitor. I really don't have to monitor this gate voltage really is what I'm thinking. The only reason I'm doing that is because uh, I'm trying to keep the supply from reaching 5 amps or so. It's a real iffy kind of supply where the OCP just wants to kick it out. <clears throat> so long as I have the uh, max current just kind of a little bit under it, I have to really drop that current down to keep it from shutting off from the uh, OCP. It's just not worth it. I think that's a pretty decent setup. It's not like it runs super efficient or anything. I can feel the heat coming off this heat sink. I have to help that with the tuning, obviously. So the plan is to switch over to uh, these guys right here. So I'm about to see how those uh, work out. Good thing is, I, you know, when I take this 260 out, I haven't killed it. So if things don't go well with these guys, then I can just uh, swap back, swap that back in and have still a pretty decent uh, coil. 